And there's a certain charm in knowing your grandkids one day are gonna discover this journal and see all the exciting things the grandfather. How great would that be? So he's obviously writing, he's bigging himself up in his journal because he wants his grandkids to see it. I would write stuff. I buried the body in the woods. <laughs> I'm a bad person. I'm so sorry. I don't know where it comes from. I'm very, very tired. So I remember the bald a-hole here. It means I'm bald and I like to use the term a-hole as a endearing term. Is it? No, not really. But it means if you want to call me an a-hole, I just laugh and I presume it's my name. Want to thank everybody who sends me absolutely crazy stuff on Instagram at SimonMiller316. Please do go follow me on Instagram and send me crazy stuff. I try and get back to you as many as I can. I can't get back to everybody. But just send me videos, send me funny things, send me things that you think I will laugh at and that we can laugh at together. I'm not going to laugh at this guy. It's the style OG and it's 50 things every man should own by 40. Now the dude's got 433,000 subscribers. This video did 426,000 views. So as I always say, if somebody is smashing the game that much, you can't poo poo on them too much because how stupid am I going to look? But I want to know what it is. 15 things every, every man, every single man. So if you consider yourself a man, you are coming into this conversation. Let's all take a guess before we begin. I'm going to go with three. I think I'll be lucky if I own three. I'm very, very excited. Let's go. Today's video, I've got my list of the 15 things every man should own by the age of 40. I find it disconcerting that the background is the exact same color as his jacket. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. This is the smoothest man ever. <laughs> I've never seen him before. He's the smoothest guy ever. He can knock on my door and say, hey man, do you want to buy a wig? And I'd be like, yeah, okay. I don't need a wig. I would look ridiculous. Also, because he said it, like, share, subscribe. First up on that list, I think every guy by the age of 40 should have a watch that means something to them. I thought he said wife. <laughs> like, it's a bit much. Number one, get a wife. I imagine you're 39. Oh no, oh no. Just running out to speed dating. Right, so a watch that means something. Don't wear a watch, don't like a watch. I find it weighs me down. I have owned probably four watches in my entire life. The first one was one of those called Casio ones. Remember with the keyboard on it? Not Casio, wait, it had a, sorry, a Casio keyboard. That's a completely different thing. It was a Casio watch, but it had like a calculator on it. It was a calculator watch, that was cool. Then I had one of those LCD watches for a while. And I've tried out fitness wrist things, but they don't do much for me. And somebody once bought me a Hugo Boss watch, I believe, I think it was. And it just weighed too much. So we are zero for one. I think a watch that means something to you is a great thing to have. Take, for example, my Mont Blanc Time Walk. This means a lot to me. It was the first watch I ever bought that cost more than one or 200 bucks. Does that count as something that means to you? I suppose it does. Because if you're able to buy a watch that costs a whole well, hundred bucks or more than a couple of hundred bucks, I suppose it would mean something to you because it shows that you're getting success. But I don't necessarily think you should have that as one of the parameters in your life that you should do before 40. Do we all want to be rich? Of course we do. But even if you get to 40 and you're comfortable, but you still can't afford a $200 watch, I still think as long as you're happy, you're doing all right. Next up on our list of things guys should have by 40, of course, this is a style channel. So this one you should have seen coming. You should have at least one go-to killer tailored suit. Yep, I've got a go-to killer tailored suit, or maybe I have a few shirts and a few pairs of trousers that I hate so much, I only wear them when I have to, which is usually at weddings, and then I look like I've dressed up in a child's clothes. That's the truth. I don't think these people would like me very much. I'm not very stylish. And I really don't want to hear anything about, I don't go anywhere that I need to wear a suit. By the age of 40, I hope you're going places that you need a suit. Oh man, he saw me coming. But where do I have to, the places I need to go to wear a suit? Uh, wedding, synagogue, I think that's it. I can't think of anywhere else, because I have a stupid job. That's why I definitely think you gotta have a great pair of work boots. That's a 180, isn't it? You need to have an expensive watch, you need to have an expensive suit, and then you need some work boots for when you're shoveling snow and doing some work. I do have, well, I have a pair of trainers that I use to do that kind of stuff, so I'm counting it. We're one up. Every guy, no matter what their age is, needs a toolbox. Mm, that seems unfair. Why does every man need a toolbox? If you're a woman, you're allowed a toolbox. That's perfectly reasonable. It depends how much stuff you need to do with tools. Now, I do have a toolbox. I lose it all the time. I have no idea where I put the screwdriver because I'm an absolute moron. But I don't understand why that's specific to a man. <laughs> if you're a human being, you need a toolbox for when you need to fix stuff with tools. That's why I always suggest you have a packed overnight bag. This guy's living in movie world. 
Uh, let's be honest with you, right? How many times in your life have you got... Ring, ring. Hello. We need you to fly somewhere right now. Oh, thank goodness. I've got my overnight bag. That would never happen. You would still have a few hours or a period of time where you were able to pack an overnight bag. This kind of feels like he got to number four or five, whatever it was. Like, I'm out. We said 15. Did we say 15? Sugar. Overnight... A packed overnight bag. That sounds good. That's what you want to have by the age of 40 is a passport. A passport? What are you talking about? <laughs> I do have a passport. Sweet. We're two to nothing. And he said a well-used passport. Again, that's all well and good, but traveling costs a lot of money, especially at the moment. I've been very blessed in my career and my jobs. I have traveled a lot. But, I mean, you should own a passport now because it's a good form of ID. And, you know, when you go abroad, you need one. Why by 40? So by 30, I did that. Pfft. I don't get it. Next up on our list, I think every guy by the age of 40 should have a paper journal. And I do have a paper journal. I don't use it very much, but I do have one. I usually get myself every single, I, I up it every, every year, I suppose. I, I don't really know what I was expecting from this list. I just like the title when the person sent it to me. But by 40, so you can be 39.999, you pop to WH Smith's, your local stationery's store, and you just buy a paper journal. You get home, you put it down. You're like, has anything changed? No, maybe write that down. What a waste of time buying this journal was. And there's a certain charm in knowing your grandkids one day are going to discover this journal and see all the exciting things that grandfather. How great would that be? So he's obviously writing, he's a bigging himself up in his journal because he wants his grandkids to see it. I would write stuff. I buried the body in the woods. <laughs> I'm a bad person. I'm so sorry. I don't know where it comes from. I'm very, very tired. Speaking of the written word, brings us to the next thing I suggest you have by the age of 40. That's a book collection. Book collection is a good one. Again, I don't know why it ties into the age of 40. I have a book collection, but you don't have to have a book collection. If you'd rather read your books on a Kindle, I'm sure that's fine, or a, an automated reader, whatever the hell they're called. I really do think he ran out after the first three. And even then, I wasn't massively agreeing with them. But again, what I thought they were going to be... I don't even know what man-specific means anymore. It was stupid back then, it's stupid now. But have a... I guess because it's just aimed at men. I don't know. Brings us to our next pick on the list. I definitely think by the age of 40, you should have a pair of two of classic sunglasses. Right, we've gone, we've gone nuts. Why do you need a pair of classic sunglasses? If you want to buy the $3 pair from Walmart, whatever it is, you're perfectly able to do that. Classic sunglasses cost a fortune. Like, would I like a pair of Ray-Ban Yes, but they're 100 bucks. And there's other things I'd rather spend 100 bucks on. I'm sorry, this is like he just looked at himself in the mirror and he went, I can hold a bag, right, packed bag. I'm wearing a suit, yep, I wear a suit. I go in, in my packed luggage bag, I got my passport, I got sunglasses. One of them's going to be a hat. The last one is a nifty hat. Earlier we talked about having that well-tailored suit. Every guy by the age of 40 definitely should have a tuxedo. He's run out. I told you. He's run, at first, I thought he was going to say an untailored suit. I was like, man, this is just getting so confusing. He's gone back to suits. I kind of feel like when you're only doing 15, you should shake it up a little bit. Also, tuxedo. Nobody wants to dress in a tuxedo. Nobody. Even the people that pretend they want to dress in a tuxedo. If you want to, if people enjoy dressing in a tuxedo so much, they would walk around the house in a tuxedo. And if you do do that, you're probably a serial killer. But whether you got to go to an office party, a holiday party, a wedding or a bank with a lot of places you should be going by the age of 40 that you have to wear a black tie. He's still on clothes. A black tie. It's just so weird. I don't, I don't even have a reaction to it. A black tie. What does that have to do with being fought by 40? I suppose he's saying you want to be at a level where, again, you're going to all those places he listed because I don't put it in the video, a bank and other stuff like that. But you can go into a bank without a tie. If you've got loads of cash, they're not going to care what you look like. Definitely want to have a cast iron skillet. <laughs> Go on. You need a cast iron skillet. You can just use a pan. You can't have got to 40 without a pan. Why do you need to all of a sudden change up your pan? Is he sponsored by... If this ends with him going, oh man, there's a link in the description for all of the products that I put out there. This is weirder than I thought. This is. I thought it was... Gonna, I didn't know what I was... I thought like a supercar or something like that. You're like, well, this is ridiculous. But you know, dream big. And I... I uh. That's why I definitely suggest... You have a great expensive bottle of booze to celebrate life's great adventure. I, why can't we just buy the booze when the celebratory event <laughs> comes up? Look, the guy's really prepared. He's like a scout. I'm sure he absolutely smashed the scouts and the cubs and whatever else he did. But he wants you to go out and spend loads of money on booze so you're ready to celebrate at that exact moment. If you did that, the person you were celebrating would think you were weird. Like, oh, Darren, I got the job. Whoop! <laughs> and he popped the champagne. Like, where did that come from? Oh, I always keep celebratory champagne literally on me at all times in my very expensive suit. And I'm wearing these sunglasses in order to cover me in case the champagne that goes in my eyes. We're talking about that celebratory bottle of alcohol or your everyday bottle of wine. 
please make sure you have some quality wine glass. <laughs> the, wine, the wine glass has to come first. Otherwise, how are we going to drink the expensive booze if we don't have the wine glasses? I, I have zero wine glasses. I don't drink alcohol. I don't really have much alcohol in my house. There's no need for it, and I have limited space. So I don't have glasses. Am I going to buy one? No. You want to have a go-to or two recipe. <laughs> recipe. <laughs> he ran out after three. Have a go-to recipe. Cheese on toast. Oh, I'm here for dinner. Cheese on toast. Well, I don't want cheese on toast. Well, you've come around my house for dinner. I didn't invite you. And Mr. OG here says I have to have a recipe. So there's your bread. There's your cheese. You eat it like it. Next up on the list is something that works great for traveling and when you're at home. A guy definitely needs a dop kit. A dop kit? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I think it's a bathroom bag. But you should have that when you're a child and you're going to somebody else's bathroom <laughs> and you want to bring your bathroom. It's just a bag. I mean, he's literally gone down to bag. Another thing I highly suggest you have by the age of 40, an actual camera. I've got that one. I can't, what are we up to now? I had two, I think that's three. I've got lots of actual cameras, not the one I'm using now. I've got another one over there. I've got like four of them. I'm a success. And last, but certainly not least on my list of the things every guy should own by the age of 40, I've got something a little bit more utilitarian. You definitely want to have a pocket knife. <laughs> a pocket knife. Oh my gosh. Now, I'm sure it's a great idea. I'm sure there's loads of things you can do with a pocket knife. But given everything we've talked about, hmm, I'm in a situation where I need an easily concealed weapon. Thankfully, I have my trusty pocket knife. Madness. Absolute madness. Let me know in the comments below. What did you get? What was your number? If you've got 15, you smashed it. Well done. You're more of a man than I am, but I'm all right with it. I think we got three, maybe four. I lost track because it was so crazy. Please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Uh, click the bell, ding, ding. So you know when other videos are going live. There's another video on the screen. Give it a click. Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, Greg Doucette's cookbook, uh, Cameo. Go in the description below. Everything you need is in there. Support me as much as you can. Please subscribe again. I massively appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.